So, thank you, Bharat, Sunil M. Jain, Manoj, and all the team, Diabetes India, for giving the opportunity. And this is about aspirin in primary prevention. What are the pathways of TV risk in type 2 diabetes? And this slide tells you everything about it. Right from physical activity, diet, smoking, and obesity, they have been implicated for CVT. And once a person is diabetic on top of that, that leads to various other components like dyslipidemia, hypercoagulability, metabolic dysfunction, and environmental factors are there. And the, the, there is endocrine endothelial dysfunction, there is arterial stiffness, inflammation, and oxidative stress. This all is cardiovascular disease. And type 2 diabetes is coronary equivalent. If you look at aspirin in primary prevention, the wonder drug aspirin was discovered more than 3,500 years back mainly as a painkiller, anti-inflammatory, antipyretic by Hippocrates and some other people. And Bayer was the one who marketed it in 19th century. Jews started as antiplatelet drug in 1970 and more than 200 studies are already there. More than 2 lakh patients have been included in these studies. It is well established in secondary prevention, but the topic for today is primary prevention and the role of aspirin in primary prevention controversial. And this video tells you. Audio? Puhelimessa, miljoona siellä herra. Tuleeko muita tarjouksia? Ei tule. Miljoona ensimmäinen, miljoona toinen, miljoona kolmas. And it says, Aspirin prevents cardiovascular disease by Bayer. There are studies for that. Look at these studies. British male doctor study, the physician health study, thrombosis prevention trial, hot trial, primary prevention project, and women health study, which were followed for 3.5 years or maybe 3.7 years to 10 years, and these are the results. Look at these, some of them are very good. The results hazard ratio is very good, and some of them are not so good with upper limit of more than one reaching there. There are controversies with aspirin, that is why this session has been capped. Primary, the previous, Randomized control trials in people with diabetes fail to show significant reduction in ASCVD of various endpoints. There is some sex difference in the results, and these are the sex differences you can find in female and males. They are different. And one very good Meta-analysis published by anti-thrombotic trialist collabor collaboration, which was included, in, that there were six large trials of primary prevention, which were included in this uh, meta-analysis, and it said that these are the results. If you look at non-fatal MI, serious vascular events, hemorrhagic stroke, and bleeding, more than 9,500 patients, there is 12% reduction in serious vascular events. That is very good. 23% reduction in 
non fatal mi very very good but there is in reduction of 14% in ischemic stroke at the expense of increase in hemorrhagic stroke to the tune of 32% the benefits were accrued at the cost of 54% increase in bleeding which was chiefly gi and extracranial in location with aspirin 2018 was a waterloo year for primary prevention of aspirin and these three trials are there ascend arrive and aspri three large trials involving more than 47000 patients these trials try to adjust various unresolved issue so far as primary prevention in diabetes is concerned look at the ascend trial 15,840 persons with diabetes, no CVD, that means they are basically primary prevention study. Median follow-up, fairly good, around 7.4 years. Aspirin prevented serious CV events by 12%, but 29% rise of major bleeding events with aspirin. Hence, the bleeding events counterbalance the absolute benefits seen with aspirin use in primary prevention. This was about a trial. Now, look at the arrived trial. More than 12,546 patients, more than 55 years of men, 60 years of female, moderate CV risk across seven countries. What the data said, aspirin did not decrease major CV events in patients with hazard ratio of 0.96. GI bleed were up by two times with the use of aspirin. Look at the ASPRI trial majorly. Number of patients 19,114 elderly patients basically. 100 milligram per day did not decrease major CV events at 4.7 years of follow-up. Use of enteric-coated aspirin led to increase in major bleeding by whooping 38%. There was increase in death from any cause with aspirin, especially cancer-related death. So, if you look at the pros and cons of aspirin in primary prevention, the recommendations may be there for using aspirin as primary prevention in men and female, more than 50 years of age, with diabetes, at least one additional major risk factor. They are family history, hypertension, dyslipidemia, smoking and albuminuria oblique KD. But exclude those who are at the increased risk of bleeding, like older age people, more than 70 years of age, anemic, renal disease is there. The non-invasive imaging technique may be helpful, like coronary calcium scoring may help in low-risk people with may be a family history of premature ASCV. People with more than 70 years may be without or with CV uh, diabetes may have higher risk than benefit. High risk CV, low bleeding risk, yes, you must use it, but not in older people. Aspirin for primary prevention may be considered by shared decision making, carefully we must weigh EV benefits compared to increased risk of bleeding. Is not recommended at all in those who have lower risk of ASCVD, like men less than 50 years of age and with diabetes with no major other ASCVD risk factors. The clinical judgment should be used. Willingness of the patient should be considered. Less than 21 years, 
generally contraindicated due to associated risk of rice syndrome. So far as secondary prevention is concerned, ADA 2020 guidelines clearly say use aspirin may be between 75 to 162 milligram per day as secondary prevention strategy in those with diabetes and history of ASCV. That is about secondary prevention and the level of evidence A, very good evidence. Aspirin has been shown to be effective in reducing CV morbidity and mortality in high-risk patients with previous MI, with previous stroke, that is secondary prevention, and is strongly recommended by ADA guideline 2023. Primary prevention, ADA 2023 recommends Aspirin therapy, 75 to 162 milligram, may be considered as a part of pre primary prevention strategy in those with diabetes who are at increased cardiovascular risk after and only after comprehensive discussion with patient on benefits versus comparable risk of bleeding. So the take-home message is role of aspirin in primary prevention for cardiovascular disease under intense scrutiny. In diabetic patients, use of aspirin is controversial in primary prevention in light of increased bleeding events. Routine use of aspirin in primary prevention is not at all advisable at present. Physicians need to take an individualized approach, individualized decision on case-to-case -case basis. With that, thank you very much.